Hello friends, welcome to Engineering Funda family. In this video, I will solve two very interesting problems based on vector magnetic potential. First of all, one should know the basic relation in between magnetic field and vector magnetic potential. Let us say magnetic field is B and vector magnetic potential is A. Then B is equals to del cross A means magnetic field is curl of vector magnetic potential. So that relation that one should know magnetic field is curl of vector magnetic potential. Right. Now let us solve first question of this video. See in first question the line integral of vector magnetic potential A around boundary of surface S represents what? So we need to identify what is line integral of vector magnetic potential. So here we are deal with to understand calculation of line integral of vector magnetic potential. See here we have line integral and line integral that can be converted into surface integral using Stokes theorem. So as per Stokes theorem, if you have line integral of function, then you can convert that in terms of surface integral using curl of function, right? So curl of function surface integration is line integration of that function. That is what one can derive based on Stokes theorem, right? Now here if you observe, see we have del cross A that is magnetic field. So you can say here we have surface integral of magnetic field and surface integral of magnetic field is magnetic flux, right? surface integral of magnetic field is magnetic flux. So line integral of vector magnetic potential is magnetic flux. So one can say option A is correct option over here, right? So one should know the basic relation in between magnetic field and vector magnetic potential. B is equals to del cross A, right? Now I will solve second question. In second question, the magnetic vector potential in a region is defined by vector a that is e to the power minus y sine of x in a z direction an infinitely long conductor having a cross sectional area of 5 mm square and carrying a dc current of 5 ampere in the y direction and that is passing as per shown in figure so here we have been given figure where current i that is having value of 5 ampere and it is there in the direction of y direction we need to determine the expression for magnetic field and force per unit length. Here we have been given with vector magnetic potential. From vector magnetic potential, we can identify magnetic field, right? One should know magnetic field that is del cross A, where A is vector magnetic potential. How to identify cross multiplication? For Cartesian coordinates, one can identify that as per AX a y a z del by del x del by del y del by del z and here vector a that is having a z component only so x and y components are zero z component is e to the power minus y sine of x once we solve this we can have expression for magnetic field b right so let us solve this see here a x that we need to solve first. So Ax into del by del y of this. So del by del y of e to the power minus y sin x minus del by del z of this that is 0. After that we have minus Ay. Now with minus Ay we have del by del x of this right. We have del by del x of this that is e to the power minus y sin x and minus del by del z of 0 so that is 0. So simply we need to solve this right. Now here see del by del y that we need to perform over here. So del by del y of e to the power minus y that is minus e to the power minus y and sin x is constant. So here we have minus e to the power minus y sin x 
in ax direction right and here see del by del x of sin x that we need to perform that is cos x so here we have minus e to the power minus y cos x in a y direction right so this is what expression for magnetic field right this is how we can have expression for magnetic field now second question that is to have an expression of force per unit length right so first of all one should know what is force acting on wire carrying current i force is equals to idl cross b right so here we have magnetic field b that we have calculated and for current carrying wire force can be calculated by f is equals to idl cross b right now we need to understand what is idl cross b see here i is current value of current is phi ampere and it is happening in y direction right so here this i that is phi ampere and this dl that is there in y direction so one can say dl into a y right cross magnetic field b so magnetic field b that we have calculated so let me place this now we need to do cross multiplication over here right so here you can observe we have force and we need to have force per unit length so i can take this constant dl on other side right here we have force so if you want force per unit length then you can take this dl on this side right so we will be having pi a y cross this now let us perform cross multiplication see here we have a y and here we have a x so a y cross a x that is minus a z let me explain how see as and when you want to calculate cross product then you need to write x y z x y z and if you go in this direction then another quantity that will be positive like you see here we have y x so if you go y to x then this is opposite to this direction means it will be minus z right so here we have pi into this constant right into the direction which is minus a z right that is this cross multiplication now another cross multiplication is there where you see a y cross a y is there and one should know a y cross a y that is zero right so force per unit length that is this only where this minus minus that is getting plus so one can say pi e to the power minus y sin x in the direction of a z that is force per unit length for this particular case i hope now you are having fair enough idea about what is vector magnetic potential see vector magnetic potential and magnetic field relation that one should know magnetic field is del cross a where a is vector magnetic potential and b is magnetic field till if anything that i would like to share just note it down in comment section i'll be happy to help you thank you so much for watching this video